Has Google achieved quantum supremacy with Sycamore? Has Google unlocked quantum supremacy? Google scientists recently achieved teleportation using a quantum computer, creating the world's shortest shortcut to a wormhole. This breakthrough challenges the fabric of space-time, inspired by Einstein's quest to disprove quantum mechanics. Join us in unraveling the mysteries of this scientific leap. In the year 1930, during which Einstein's relativity theory was very popular, Einstein became quite famous because of this, and famous among scientists all around the world. People then had to do less with Einstein, as suddenly a new branch of physics named quantum mechanics was born. But the concept of this new branch was not born so much as it was in Einstein's mind from the very beginning. He began to challenge many theories by providing better explanations of the universe's phenomena at his level, including the general theory of relativity by Einstein, which had described light speed as the fastest thing in the universe. Einstein, the well-known author of this theory, was engaged in a scientific conflict with quantum mechanics. The quantum entanglement suggested that if particles are created in pairs, they change the state of each other instantly, even if they are separated. This, however, weakened Einstein's theory that nothing could travel faster than the speed of light. To counter this, Einstein proposed a thought experiment that incorporated the notion of EPR paradox. Under this experiment, Einstein suggested that if two entangled particles, A and B, were separated from one another, an observer could see the position of A and know its position and momentum simultaneously. Nevertheless, this was contrary to the uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics that says that we cannot measure both the properties of a particle at the same time. This resulted in a war between relativity and quantum mechanics, where each of them was attacking the principles of the other. However, as the discussion evolved, it appeared that Einstein was willing to accept some parts of quantum mechanics, which created a paradox. This disagreement between the theories is not directly related to wormholes, but it shows how complicated and contradictory the basis of physics is. So basically, the one who till now was a sophisticated concept, that concept actually is just Einstein's ego. And he published a paper in which he proved that a black hole and a white hole together can form a wormhole and that they can extract any information from light. Can provide a shortcut to fast travel. That is, even a snake can hit and even a stick does not break, or maybe it does break. The actual thing is that time is the biggest advocate of quantum mechanics. The needs bore him. Questions were raised on the first paper, the EPR paper itself, why all the results were wrong and were presented in a distorted form. Now Einstein got angry. It's good if you can find some counter logic, just call the experiment wrong. Reject it, okay, no one. And now I will come up with a grand unified theory that I will directly connect quantum physics, which talks at the level of particles, with classical physics, which talks about big things. All the quarrel will end and my theories will also be proven correct. That's what he said. Now the question arises whether he should do this or not, but unfortunately, he died before then. Imagine a wormhole like a magical tunnel. If you toss something in at one end, it pops out the other. Now think about what that something is. It's like a special kind of information. It holds details about how tiny particles like molecules and atoms are arranged. This idea connects with quantum entanglement, which also involves the transfer of similar data. In quantum entanglement, changing the property of one particle automatically changes the property of another. Leonard Susskind, a person, had an idea that made one to think hard and think a lot. In the midst of his pondering, he ingeniously proposed that as a wormhole works as a sort of uninterrupted tunnel through which physical objects can pass, it could be possible that a similar phenomenon could occur in quantum entangled particles. He proposed the idea of a beautiful hole between the points where these particles are connected, which would allow information to be transferred between them at the speed of light. Based on Leonard's revolutionary theory that suggested that using quantum entanglement to transport a particle from one place to another could confirm the presence of a wormhole. Leonard's proposal went even further. It offered the intriguing possibility of creating a wormhole artificially in a laboratory setting, thus turning the science fiction dream into an actual scientific experiment. So what was it that had attracted the attention of the scientists? The intriguing idea of wormhole teleportation. 
Diving into the mysteries of this puzzling phenomenon, Daniels Jeffries, a prominent physics professor at Harvard, did not hesitate to use his knowledge. Using his brilliant mind, he immediately began to create a revolutionary wormhole teleportation protocol. With the help of a quantum computer, he came up with a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how a wormhole could be made. The protocol was meticulously designed by Daniels with the determination and curiosity, and he even had an opportunity to test it yesterday. With his reliable group of physicists, he studied every minute detail to make sure that the protocol was valid and accurate. Their commitment made them connect with the technological giant Google, where they worked together with Maria Shirupolo, where the renowned Sycamore was established. Together, they realized the need for a strong tool to carry out their wormhole teleportation protocol successfully. Peacock is the world's first quantum computer assistant. This incredible machine was endowed with an unparalleled computing power that was far beyond anything a normal computer could do. It possessed so much power that it could perform tasks that a regular computer would need 10,000 years to do in 200 seconds. Information in a computer is conveyed in binary language in zeros and ones. Similarly, quantum computers use quantum entangled particles whose spin of one type is called one and the spin of the opposite type is called zero. In this way, information is transferred. Here from upper down spent zeros and vans which can send information instantly due to quantum entangled particles. The only difference was now Spiru Polo gets these quantum entangled bits not only information but also the entire object has to be sent. Well, she took a sycamore and a pair of cubes with it, which were separated from their partners by some distance, and then brought a different cubed particle near the cubes and turned all seven of them together upside down. Now, what would have happened next to these seven cubes? This information researched the partners along with them, and they also did their spin opposite, but at the same time, a shocking thing happened, that when the red one would come, it would suddenly disappear along with the cubic's partner, Cubbage. That is, finally... Spiro Polo and his team have created the world's first artificial wormhole using Google's quantum computer. But friends, can this experiment be done on a larger scale? Well, Spiro Polo has reported in the New York Times and said that at present, they've given birth to a baby hole, and in the future, it can hopefully be operated on a larger scale as well, although many people do not agree with them. Scott Aronson, an expert in quantum computing, says that if a wormhole is created in this experiment, if it is gone, then it will definitely be the same kind of wormhole which we had shown in the beginning, the paper one. But did it mean that the concept of the wormhole which they had come up with to save the credibility of life ended there? Not even 1%, he said. Both the experiment and its speculations are in a very early stage. I think we should pause a little bit before choosing a side, and for now, instead of trying to make the huge hole, we should look at it in a way that these small wormholes are. We are getting help in understanding gravity at the quantum level, because once we understand quantum gravity properly, then today's generation will be able to complete the vision that Einstein had left incomplete back in his theory. Hey, we hope you enjoyed spending time with us in today's video, and we'll look forward to catching up with you at our next one. Leave your comments down below what you thought of today's video, and make sure you stay tuned to us and press the bell icon to allow notifications so you'll be updated when we have a new video for you. Have a great rest of your day. Always explore, and thanks for watching.